If you can, please download or print out the PDF file on the description below so you can work with me. Increase, it means plus. Reduce, it means minus. Sum is add. Product means times. Less than means minus. More than is add. And of means time. First one. When a number is increased by 9, the result is 41. What is the number? So first of all, we don't know what the number is. So we just write this, this number here, we just write x. So increase means plus. So that means x plus 9. And the result means equal, 41. So that's what that meant. So I just rewrite this. So which is x plus 9 is equal to 41. And to solve this, so which is minus 9 on the left hand side, because we want x by itself. So whatever you do on the left, I need to do same thing on the right hand side. So I minus 9 as well. So that cancel out. So x is equal to 40 minus 9 is 31. You add 1, so 32. So therefore, the number is 32. Second one, when 5 is added to the double of a certain number, the result is 43. Find the number. So a certain number, so we don't know what it is, so we write x. And we double that because it's double of a number, so which means 2x. And we need to add 5 to it. So in another word, we go 2x plus 5 and the result is 43. So we just write equal to 43. So now we just solve this equation. So we minus 5 on this side and we minus 5 on this side as well. So this cancel out. So 2x is equal to 40 minus 5 is 35. You add 3, so 38. And then you divide by 2 on both sides. Divide by 2 here. So therefore, x is equal to 19. And therefore, the number is 19. Next one, the sum of three consecutive numbers is 114. What are the numbers? So consecutive numbers means if I have two, the next one must be three. And if I have like five, the next one should be six. And the one after that is seven. If the smallest number, let's say nine, the so next number should be ten. And the one after 10 is 11. We don't know the smallest number, so we just write x. So the next one should be at 1 to x, so which is x plus 1. And the next one after that is we add 1 to this, so which is 1 plus 1 is 2, so x plus 2. So they are consecutive numbers. So now we just add them up, and the answer is 114, so which is x at x plus 1 at the next one which is x plus 2 and the result is 114. So now which is collecting all these light terms so we have x plus another x is 2x we add another x which is 3x and then 1 plus 2 is 3 so we add 3 and the answer is 114. Now to solve this we minus 3 on the left, and then we minus 3 on the sides as well. So this cancel out. So 3x is equal to 114 minus 3, which means 111. So I divide this by 3. I divide this by 3. That cancel out. So x is equal to 3 go to 11 is 3 times, because 3 times 3 is 9. The remainder is 2, so which is 21. 
So 3 go to 21 is 7. Otherwise, just use your calculator. So x is the smallest number. So therefore, okay, the numbers are start from 37. That's the smallest number. That is x. And then the other one is you add 1 on top of that because it's a consecutive number. So which is 38. And the other one will be 39. Next one, the sum of three consecutive odd numbers is 171. What is the largest number? So remember, consecutive odd numbers mean, let's say it's the smallest number is three. So the next consecutive odd number is five. And after five, it should be seven. If the smallest odd number, let's say start from 11. So the next consecutive odd is 13 and followed by 15. So therefore, this the odd number, let's say start from x and the next one should be, you add 2 on top of this, so which is x plus 2. And then we add 2 to this, which is, the, that is the next consecutive odd, so which is x plus 4. So these are consecutive odd numbers. And then we add them up, we give us 100 and 71. So that is x plus x plus 2 plus x plus 4, which is 171. So now we just collect the like terms. So x plus x plus x, which is 3x. So 3x at 2 plus 4 is 6. So we just write 6 down. And this is 171. So now we just minus 6 on this side. And minus 6 on this as well. So 3x is equal to 170 minus 6 is 164. At 1 is 165. So now we just divide by 3. So which is x is equal to. So 3 go to 16 is 5 times. Remember 1. 3 go to 5 is 5. So now the numbers are 55. I can just write here 55. You add 2, 57, and then 59. So therefore, the largest number is 59. Please stop the video and try this one yourself. First one. So we don't know what the number is. So we just put x on top and then we divide by 2.4. So that means x over 2.4. Or you can write divided by 2.4, doesn't really matter. And the answer is 18. Now to solve this, we just turn by 2.4. And you time this by 2.4. So we cross this out. So now we just go 18 times 2.4. And the answer is 43.2. So x is equal to 43.2. So therefore, the number is... 43.2. Second one, 15 less than double a certain number. So this is x and we double that. So 2x is 49. What is the number? So we go 2x minus 15 and the answer is 49. So now to solve this equation, so we add 15 on this side and we add 15 on this side as well of course that disappear so you live with 2x 49 plus 15 so 50 plus 10 is 60 so you add 4 so 64 and then we have that so therefore x is equal to your half of 6 is 3 half of 4 
is 2. So therefore, the number is 32. Please stop the video and try this one yourself. Two thirds of a number. So that means 2 over 3 of a number means 2 over 3x. And then we add 23 to it. So this means that 2 over 3x, we add 23. And the answer is 9. Now, to solve this, we minus 23 on this side, and we minus 23 on this side. So this disappear, and the left-hand side leave with 2 over 3x is equal to 20 minus 9 is 11. You add 3 is 14, but the answer is negative 14, of course. Otherwise, to choose your calculator, 9 minus 23, and you should get negative 14. So now to do this, I times by 3, I get rid of the bottom first, I times by 3. That cancel out. So 2x is equal to, so negative 14 times 3 is negative 42. And you have that, or I divide by 2 like this, it's the same thing. So we just go, 2 go to 4 is 2, 2 go to 1 is 1. So therefore, the number is negative 21. Last one. Please stop the video and try this one yourself. So the denominator and numerator okay, of this fraction here, 4 fifth, are reduced by a certain number. So this means that 4 minus x. We don't know what that number is, so it's x, so we reduce x. And then 5, we also minus x. And the answer is 2 third. Now to solve this, of course, we can do by inspections. So x is... 2, you can see, otherwise, we just do cross multiply to solve this. So 3 times that, so we just write 3. 4 minus x is equal to 2, bracket, 5 minus x. So now I just expand the bracket. So you got 3 times 4 is 12. And 3 times x is 3x, but of course, it's negative 3x or minus 3x if you like. And 2 times 5 is 10. And 2 times minus x is minus 2x. To solve this, I put x on one side and number on the other side. So because this x here is smaller, so I move this on this side. It doesn't matter which side you want to move, okay? So in this case, I just move this side. That's all. So 12, I write this down. The positive 10, I move on this side, become minus 10. And on the right hand side, I leave with 2x, but negative, okay? Just write this down, that's all. And the negative 3x, I move on the other side, it become positive. So this become plus 3x. So 12 minus 10 is equal to 2. Negative 2 plus 3 is 1. Otherwise, you can just use your calculator, minus 2 plus 3 is 1. That means it's 1x. So x is 2. So therefore, the number is 2. Thank you so much for watching.